Good morning guys, today we are doing a day in the life of my sixth grader. Hey guys, it's Vani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to show you a day in the life of my sixth grader and all of the homeschool work that he does for today. Now just keep in mind that every day is different. Today is Wednesday, so we're gonna attempt a poetry tea time. We do this, I want to do, uh, you know, my initial plan was to do this every week, but I think we're gonna probably just squeeze it in once a month. And that's just a time to get some fun snacks and read some poetry and write some poetry on our own. So I think once a month or twice a month is probably gonna be good enough for that. We also have a brand new schedule. If you guys have been watching my previous videos, I have been struggling to find a routine that has to work well for our family. But I think that I have it. This is a new routine that we started this week. And I'm basically typing out all of the work that he has to do. And we are going to go through that list one by one. And I have another child that I homeschool, my second grader. So I bounce back and forth between the two of them or I sit in the middle of them so that while my son is doing his independent work, I can work with my second grader. So today you'll get to see all of that in this day in the life of my homeschooled sixth grader. The first thing my son likes to do is start with his math and we're using the good and the beautiful math five because we switched over from another math that didn't work out for us. So now we are a little behind. You can check out the video in the card above. He likes to, as they say, eat the frog and do his hardest subject or his longest subject first and get that out of the way so that he can have a more peaceful day and not worry about that math subject anymore. Sitting between both of my children makes it a lot easier for me to jump back and forth between the two of them to help them out. Now I'm checking his work with the answers book to make sure he got everything right and the things that he doesn't get right I'll mark with a little X and then he'll go over it and fix it and first figuring out what he did wrong. Puppy distractions. <laughs> Cuteness overload. <laughs> It is now time for us to do our read out loud. So I'm making my kids a little smoothie to drink while we do it. Sometimes I'll do a smoothie and sometimes we'll do our charcuterie board of snacks. And we sit out in the living room and cuddle up and read our book. And right now we are reading the Chronicles of Narnia. We are in the second book, which is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. up the who which clause you're gonna read new style and complete the style practice oh and we have to do we didn't read the new structure titles now we have about two things to do we're gonna look at the vocabulary cards for lesson four discuss the words and their definitions and complete vocabulary practice using your keyword outline and style practice to guide you you're gonna begin writing a rough draft of your own in your own words you're gonna go over the checklist and put a check in the box for each requirement you have completed are you ready for all that They got scared. They were shocked. Uselessly or unsuccessfully. Okay. Your next word is perilously. So I like to use this book called Poetry Patterns and Themes that I got at the homeschool convention a few years ago. And today we're gonna try Clara Hugh Poetry. 
in honor of African American History Month, which we missed in February. And I have, or I have been, have, I had this book for a little while from the library. And I had to return it soon. We are going to do that theme today. And I have a curriculum that I made because I was going to teach it at our homeschool co-op of the theme and the type of poems that we're going to read and write and any decorations, which I did not plan ahead for. Um, normally we start, normally we have sandwiches, but we have tacos today because we had leftover from yesterday and then they have to eat their way up and they have a healthy snack and then they usually have a better dessert. They have uh, there's these cookies here. They wanted something like cake or something. We don't have that. They copied in here and then if they wish, they can watercolor over it to make it just, the pages look nice. So that's my son's. You can see we only did it twice this year. And this is my daughter's. These poetry books are from Emerging Green. They are natural paper and recyclable. And I'll send you the link to the information on this in the card above and in the description below. I also have this rhyming dictionary that I love to use. So we attempted to write poetry, but apparently my son hates writing poetry. So we are gonna save that for later on in life. <laughs> we did get to read some good poetry during their lunchtime anyway, so that was beneficial. So we are gonna move on to his Bible now. And he, we are doing um, our non, not consumed Bible study as a family, and it is, well not as a family, just the three of us, and it's mom, brotherly love on how to get along better with his sister. He has two sisters, but the one, uh, his older one, he hardly ever sees, so it's his little one that he's homeschooled with, and it's for that purpose. So we're learning about that, and he's got his own Bible that we bought him for um, his age range, and so that's what he's gonna go do now. It's called the NIV Boys Bible. It has a bunch of cool things in it, so. I got this off Amazon. I had another one for him, but it was for high schoolers, and there were some things that he was not ready for in there yet. It talked about things that were not appropriate for him, so we got him this one instead. And then this is his devotional, My Brother's Keeper. So in here, he has a title. He has a little lesson, Bible verses to look up, and then little writing prompts and things for him to think about and do. So we try to have him and my younger daughter do one a day. Here. And he's cozy and comfortable, no more table time for him. He's gonna do it right here on the floor with his blanket and his pillow, right? And his puppy. Hi, Nala! earlier I took a break and straightened my hair so that's why I look totally different now <laughs> and I don't have on my hat but I wanted to share with you guys what we did for what we usually do for history and science that we didn't get to today because my son ended up getting a headache and it was hard for him to continue out the rest of the day but we did get a lot of things done but around poetry tea time when it was time to write the poetry his head started to hurt and he hasn't really felt better since. So he's resting, drinking water, and just trying to get better. Gave him a little bit of something for his headaches, some essential oils, and he should be good to go because we do have church tonight and the plan is to continue and attend. But anyway, so for history, as you saw what he was reading, that's his free reading time that he has to read for about 20 minutes a day. He's reading the a History Smashers book. So what I wanted to do was to incorporate like his free reading time and to incorporate some of our subjects into that time. So right now he's reading the History Smashers, which are smashing a lot of things that he's been learning about American history. Another resource we're using for history is this First American, is, is this a story of us? And I found this book, I had been searching. I have tried not grass history, the good and the beautiful history. I tried story of the world history. I've tried a whole bunch of different types of history and I'm just not a fan of history curriculum because I, growing up in a public school in the city, we did not have good teachers all the time and my history teacher was one who didn't teach a single thing. She literally had to sit in the room and read while she was out in the hallway gossiping with another teacher. That's all I remember about history in her class. So I didn't really learn 
much past like third grade. So it's hard for me to find a curriculum that I find interesting to teach or one that he can just do himself. I couldn't find anything. So I found these books. This is the first of I think four or five books, A History of Us, and it's prehistory to 1600s and it's American history. And it just is written to the student and the chapters are very short and to the point there's pictures and maps lots of fun facts and it's easy so he just has to read a chapter a day and then what i do want to start having him do is he has a notebook that i want him to write a few sentences uh, it's like a summary each day of what he's read i'm we're working up to that point where he can write a summary each day of what he has read my son hates writing so that's why i said we're working up to that point you also saw that we were using IEW. We normally do the good and the beautiful level six, but he tested, I did the testing for him. He tested into the level seven, which right now level seven is high school work. I don't want to skip him there yet. So what I'm doing is I'm picking and choosing a lot of the things from the level six, more of the grammar things and skipping a lot of the reading since his reading was so advanced. And then I'm doing IEW for his writing portion because because it's more structured and gives him a step-by-step -step guide of what to do the IEW is helping him with his writing better than the good and the beautiful and then he's getting a chance to write almost every single day versus the good and the beautiful doesn't have writing every single day at this level also for history we just have like picture books like these are just small like freedom crossing uh different picture books about American history that we're learning about this year. But I also have this everything you need to know American history notebook. So we started with this at the beginning of the year, but we're going to be jumping between this and this right now. We stop this because we're going into an earlier period. And then this just gives you like a brief summary. So we'll jump into this along with this. And I'm also just going to find like fun books and videos and things like that for him to watch. I don't, you know, I went throughout my whole life not knowing much about history. I'm actually learning a lot of it again for the first time. And he's, unless he's gonna be majoring in history, um, I think this will be good enough. That's just how I feel right now. So he's in sixth grade and that's, that's how I feel. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> he's also didn't get to work on his spelling words. His the good and the beautiful has a list of most commonly misspelled words. And normally we do dictation every day. But what I thought would be easier since IEW takes a lot of time, is just, I went through the list. I found 10 spelling words out of the whole thing that he was having trouble with. We're gonna knock those out of the way. And then he's good with spelling. For the rest of the year i just want to have him um use a lot of those words in his writing for history and his iew papers and things like that so that basically sums up our day that's basically the things that we do we normally don't do poetry tea time we haven't done it in a long time because he really doesn't seem to like writing poetry he loves the snacks and he doesn't mind listening to the poetry, but when it comes down to any type of creative writing, he just is against it. That's why I like IEW because it's nothing too creative about it for him. He just likes to write the facts and that's fine because we're all different. So we will get to a point where we will learn to have that creative writing style too. Probably next year, we'll probably focus more on that. But for now, I just want him to get started writing and being able to think and put his thoughts down on paper. So that was our day. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got a little bit of entertainment out of it. And um, if you want to see how we did our second graders day in the life, check out the video in the card above. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.